tayo po ay nagbabalik dito sa Usapang Bayan at kasama pa rin natin si PCGA National Director, Admiral Prieto. Admiral Prieto, alam ko hong napakaraming ginagawa ng Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary. Saan ho ba nanggagaling? Alam ko kung saan nanggagaling yung pera, pero mabuting marinig nila sa inyo. Saan ho ba nanggagaling <coughs> yung pinantutustos natin sa paggawa ng mga mango, mang, mangrove reforestation, sa reef building, medical dental missions, at mga iba-iba pa pang pinaggagawa ho natin. This is all for love of Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary, love for Philippine Coast Guard, and love for the Filipino people. Uh, kami po ay volunteers. So yung fondo po for all of these projects ay galing sa amin po. We fund our own projects. We have uh, generous members and we have generous uh, supporters S also. Sponsors. Our sponsors. Um, we are, of course, not uh, uh, full of uh, resources. Uh, medyo limited din po. So, we try very hard to make things work. Uh, and, maximize uh, the use maximize, of our resources. Yes, the use of our limited resources. So, galing po sa amin po yun. Uh, alam nyo po, uh, idadagdag ko lang, ultimong uniforme no, ng ating mga kasamahan sa Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary, eh, sila po ang nagpopondo niyan. O kung hindi man ho, eh, yung ibang sang membro natin na mas sa uh, uh, nakakariwasa ay eh, nagdo-donate para sa mga hindi naman masyadong may kaya sa buhay. Ang uh, ginagastusan rin ho natin dyan ay eh, hindi lang ho yung mga bagay-bagay kung hindi oras natin na ginugugol. At marami rin ho sa atin na talagang ang background nila, nila ho ay mga marino sila. Sila po ay nakakatulong ng malaki dahil kasi nga ho marami sa kanila ay talagang experienced seamen. Uh, yan ho ay malaking tulong sa pag search and rescue natin. For example, yung mga marami tayong kasamahan na, uh, na scuba divers na ang equipment ho nila ay kuminsan eh, wala ang Coast Guard at natutulungan rin natin uh, bigyan ng tulong ang ating mga kasamahan sa Coast Guard para naman magawa nila ng mas magaling ang kanilang yes. tungkulin. In fact, uh, George, um, the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary was active and we participated in the recovery of Secretary Robredo's remains. Uh, the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary was also, the, our divers were the ones that recovered the missing engine of the ill-fated airplane that uh, Secretary Robredo uh, was riding on. And a, a lot of other uh, um, missions that our very good divers, we have one of the best, you one of them. Mm, thank no? you. <laughs> uh, divers in the Philippines, technical divers, many of them that do all of this, not only for the Philippine Coast Guard, but even for the Philippine Navy as well. The, the situation there is that uh, many of our companies, the private companies, are involved in salvage operations. Uh, we have also people who are in fishing fleets, no? I, I, I remember Admiral Tan, for example. Yes. How many hundreds of vessels does he have? Marami po. Si Admiral C. Actually, at, ah, actually C. Okay. Admiral C. Si Marfin also. Marfin Tan is okay. also a member. Uh, pero yung pinakamarami pong fleet is uh, si Admiral C. PCGA. Ilan ho ba ang pwedeng um, resources Admiral, na? We, we joke that Admiral C has... Uh, more vessels than the Philippine Coast Guard and the Philippine Navy put together. Yes. <laughs> Actually, ho, totoo ho yan dahil kasi napapakinabangan natin yung mga resources na yan, especially during times of calamity, no? na may mga <clears throat> isolated communities na nagagamit ho natin yan na uh, resource para maidala ang mga, pinke, mga goods yes. and services na hindi naman maiprovide na ng local community dahil kasi nga ho na devastate sila. Ta -ta Yun, ano? That is true po. What else are we doing to try to further strengthen our uh, ability to help out the Coast Guard? One of our major activities now is our training program. We have improved our training program. In fact, we have uh, converted it into a ladderized training program so that our members cannot be promoted 
in rank unless they undergo Compliant. these trainings, which is very important to us. <clears throat> we also are um, concentrating on building our fleet. We call the flotilla. And by the end of this year, 2018, we should have an estimated three to 400 boats. Ito po yung mga bankas ng uh, fishermen natin. We will activate all of them into the PCGA uh, command. Uh, so parang incorporated sila? Incorporated po sila. I see. Yung, um, in terms of incorporation, ano ho ba ibig sabihin nun? No? Nagkakaroon ho sila ng parang logo ng Coast Guard, ng o Coast Guard Auxiliary. Paano ho ba yun? Meron po silang logo, meron po din silang number. They will be identified immediately and if we need them, they are mandated to assist in search and rescue as well as marine environment protection missions. Sino ho ba sa mga maritime schools ang actually may tie-up na ho tayo ngayon? Oh, we have quite a number of uh, members that are maritime school owners or operators, uh, foremost of which is AIMS or Asian Institute of, Institute of Maritime uh, Studies. Studies. We also have the um, uh, maritime school run by uh, VACC head. Uh, he is a PCJ member, mm -hmm. uh, Commodore um, Jimenez. Jimenez, Dante Jimenez. Dante po. Jimenez. He is a member of PCGA and a number of other maritime schools na yung members natin ay silang may are or they're the ones that operate them. I see. In terms of communications, how do we provide our own communication links and things like that? We have members that are communications experts. Okay. To date, we have not been able to link everything yet, but that is one of the projects we want to uh, complete very soon so that we will be so much more useful to the Philippine Coast Guard. Actually, oh, maybe we can talk to uh, Commodore Chen later. Oh, yes. Uh, because we have a satellite system that can link up, including ships, no? land stations, yes. uh, without n the need for any cell sites or anything like that because they're all satellite-based. <coughs> And this is available throughout the entire Philippine yes, that archipelago. That is the beauty yeah. about the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary because we have members with so much private individual facilities that they can share with the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary. And it will make us a very potent force in uh, maritime safety and maritime search and rescue. So, ipapaalala ko lang ho sa ating mga kababayan na ang Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary po ay talagang totally volunteer lang ho siya at naka hindi ho siya kumukuha ng pera sa ating gobyerno. Ang ginagamit nila pantustos sa kanilang gastusin ay mula sa uh, kanilang mga miyembro at mga sponsors ng private sector na naglalabas ng kanilang sariling resources at pera para mapakinabangan ng uh, ating mga kababayan na na-disgrasya, na nagkaroon ng mga emergencies, at makatulong na rin tayo sa Philippine Coast Guard. Because I also know, talking about training, we have also provided some trainers yes. to the Philippine mm -hmm. Coast Guard. No? Because like I said, some of our members are through and through uh, uh, maritime captains, yes. they have uh, done salvage operations, they have done so many other uh, things no? that uh, that could that is very helpful to the Philippine Coast Guard. Yes. Well, we only have a few minutes left, uh, Admiral Prieto. Would you like to give a message to our viewers that maybe if they'd like to uh, volunteer and be part of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary, paano ho bang steps dyan? Paano ba ang gagawin nila? Ano ho ba ang proseso? Na, maybe you can address our audience now. Well, uh, we at the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary, are very proud of our organization and we invite all well-meaning members of our society to be volunteers of this very good uh, organization. Um, all you have to do is log on to our website pcgauxiliary.com and everything is there and we will be very happy to uh, accept you as our members. Although, of course, there are certain 
requirements, requirements that uh, uh, you need to, uh, to, to bring. Uh, otherwise, it's really not very difficult to, to join. While you are with us already, of course, we expect uh, military discipline. discipline. Uh, that's all part of the game. Uh, but I am certain that uh, anyone that joins our organization will feel very fulfilled because we are helping not only the Philippine Coast Guard, but our country and our countrymen as well. In, in uh, another question related to the membership, meron ho ba tayong mga age restrictions <coughs> na oh, hindi pwedeng ganito kabata, hindi pwedeng ganito katanda? Ano ho ba ang uh, mga basic qualifications na hinahanap po natin? They have to be at least 18 years old. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, two classes of members. We have our officers and we have our auxiliarists. Our auxiliaries are those that uh, are high school graduates or below high school graduates. And many of them are what we call our coastal community auxiliary division members. The rest, the professionals, the, the, the college graduates, the doctors, the nurses, the engineers, the ship captains, uh, they will be commissioned as officers. But um, mind you, they have to work their way up also. Um, no one can all of a sudden have uh, a rank of Commodore, which is one-star general. Mm -hmm. no? uh, they will have to start either as ensign or uh, lieutenant junior grade. Then they go up the ladder, making their membership with the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary more meaningful. I, I'd also like to add that we have uh, people in uh, uh, government no, who are uh, our auxiliary members, no, including yes. mga senators, congressmen, yes. that is and, true. and things like that. No? So, <clears throat> makikita ho natin, we're trying to keep the reputation of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary as a legitimate uh, force multiplier of the Philippine Coast Guard. Yes. Uh, tama ho ba yan? That is true. Oh. Tapos kung uh, makikita nyo rin ho, na tumatanggap rin tayo ng kahit pangkaraniwang tao. Hindi naman ho kinakailangan eh, mayaman ka. Dahil kasi kahit kung auxiliaries ka lang, hindi kumisan ang kinangan mo lang uniforme eh, yung maong pants at saka t-shirt lamang. Pwede ka nang makatulong. At saka yung mga pangkaraniwan natin mga mangingisda, uh, eh hindi naman ho sila kailangan mag-uniforme kagaya ni Admiral Prieto yes. ngayon. Yan ho sa kanila eh, talagang tulong na rin lang nila sa ating po. kapwa mm. uh, tao. No? Ano ho pa ba ang ibang planong gagawin natin for this coming year? Well, for this coming year, we intend to strengthen our uh, mandatory projects. Uh, we still have uh, uh, quite a way to go. We will improve further on our training so that we can produce uh, well-trained members uh, ready to assist the serve. Coast Guard and to serve our nation. <clears throat> we, of course, will uh, strengthen our coastal community uh, division mem uh, membership, uh, bring in as many as possible, train them and make them ready as well. And, of course, our air, our air group, we would like to strengthen that. Presently, we have three fixed wing um, aircraft, we intend to bring into our fold two rotary wing and uh, a few other fixed wing aircraft be within the year before this year is over. Well, thank you very much, uh, Admiral Prieto, and I'm sure our country and countrymen appreciate all of the hard work and effort that uh, the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary and, of course, the Philippine Coast Guard puts into making our coastal areas and the maritime safety, security, and uh, environment uh, protection. My pleasure. Thank you also for giving us this opportunity to talk about the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary. Yan po ang isang makabuluhang diskusyon kasama si PCGA National Director, Vice Admiral Valentin Prieto Jr. Maari niyo po kaming ifollow at ilike sa aming Facebook page, Usapang Bayan. Ako po si George Chua. Samahan niyo po kami muli sa mga susunod pa nating episodes dito sa Usapang Bayan.